Welcome back to the channel. So this is um, the rest of my um, George Tufexis um, colouring book collection. So these are not Creative Haven, although these four are Dover and this one is Weird. So let's start with the Weird one. Um, so this is Colouring Heaven Special, Colour by Numbers, Sea Life. Um, and the pictures in here are out of the Creative Haven um, Sea Life Colour by Number book by George Tufexi. So if you have that, you have these pictures. Um, so, yeah, you will recognise some of these. Um, I've had this book for quite a long time. So I think I will be getting the um, full Creative Haven book because this only has 30 odd pictures in it and the Creative Haven one has 40, 45 so I am missing some images. Um, So yeah, I'm going to get the Creative Haven one. So I've got all the pictures because I really enjoy colouring sea life. That's Mr B in the background, rummaging in his plastic. Okay, so you can see there's 32 in here, and there'll be 45 in the full book, so when I get that I'll do you a full flip of that one. So that's that. Um, then I've got River, Monst oh River Monsters of the World. Um, so this is mostly fish, but there are other things as well and um, there is information at the bottom about the different creatures and he has rated them as well so um, bull shark he's a five star hippopotamus is a five star Nile Crocodile, that's a five star, and then there's one more that's a five star, oh Piranha, yeah, because I needed to be told. Oh, and the Water Moccasin, that's a five star as well. So these are nice because um, they're very factual, so I can Google them and get the correct colours. Um, so then I've got um, the Unbelievable Cryptozoology colouring book. So this is just full of cryptids. Um, so introduction page tells you what cryptozoology is. Um, and it's a study of hidden animals, uh, creatures. So Loch Ness Monster, um, Bigfoot. So they're creatures that people have seen, but not quite. Um, so yeah. So these, I don't have to be so um, factual with the colours. I can do whatever colours I want. So that'll be quite exciting. 
Because in reality they'll have very subdued colours because they're hidden, aren't they? But I don't think mine will. This one's a bit sneaky. This is a megalodon, which is a real creature. Like we, it's a prehistoric shark. Um, but some people think they're still out there. So that is that one. So then I've got two. Um, he's got a series called. He's got a series called um, Mon Monster Mashup, and I've got two of these. So these have got. They're like a story. So this one is dinosaurs face destruction, and <laughs> you get the story. And what happened is there was an asteroid and it crashed and created a vortex and it sucked the dinosaurs into other times. Um, so here's a dinosaur and here's Egypt. Gives you the time and the place um, and who's featured so that you can again colour it in accurately <clears throat> excuse me so <clears throat> yeah it's good Stonehenge I like that really detailed although your colouring of course doesn't have to be like here you don't have to go super detailed on any, everything, that could just all be one colour. Ninjas. Okay, then we're getting into um, World War One. And World War Two. So yeah. So that's that one. And then I've got Monster Mashup Rise of the Predators. The story in this one is that there's some sort of nuclear leak. Oh no, sorry, it's a radioactive super virus at close. And it um, makes these creatures turn into crazy monsters. Um, so scientists then have to think, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? And the answer they come up with is to choose a creature, an animal, and make him massive and he can fight the, um, the monsters. So it's all a bit crazy, really. It gives you information at the bottom about the animal, you know, what its kind of superpower is. Tasmanian Devil. So yeah, it's just kind of highlighting some of Earth's animals alongside crazy creatures. This looks to me like um, it was a gulper eel that then got transformed by the virus. There he is at the Hollywood sign. And then in the end, it says, The Earth animals saved the planet from certain destruction. The Earth was now safe. Or was it? Because now you've got all those massive animals <laughs> to deal with. So, uh, yeah, maybe not. So, that is the rest of my George Tufexis. 
um, Chloe and Boot collection. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. And then whenever I put a video up, you will know about it. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.